Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Make This Happen, where we discuss an idea we've been dying to see come alive. Every week, my friend, Jay Yee, and myself, Alex Gonzalez, will bring you a product you never knew you needed. Now we're getting started with pill bottles. Um, I noticed that I'm not the only one. I'm not going to out who I saw, but it's someone that is close to you that is also my friend. And she happens to take a lot of vitamins, as do I. And during there's a struggle when taking all these vitamins when I'm like, I hate that I have to open four or five different pill bottles, take them all out. Now, the thing that sucks, too, is you can get a pill organizer that's Monday through Friday and put them all in there, right? Mm-hmm. Right? That's that's cool. But it's not because you still have to take it out. Mm-hmm. I want to create a pill bottle that is better than all that. I want to create a pill bottle where I put all of my pills, my vitamins in, and I press a button. And it displays that dose like almost like an M&M counter would. This is my inner fat child coming out. If you ever had one where you like pressed a lever or like like you moved his hand down and then he would dispense an M&M. I would want a button like that. Like the ones you get from But that Las would give Vegas, me my allotment you, of my pills that day. Huh? Like the Vegas ones where you pull the lever and a little jackbox or a uh, 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 slot machine thing happens and it gives you a little M&M. Yeah, exactly. But I want it to be my pills. And what would yeah. be great too is Let's say for some reason, you forget. Maybe you're old. Maybe you're busy. Maybe you just plain forget. Maybe there isn't a reason you forgot. And you try to press the button, and it won't let you. Because you have pre-programmed it to only dispense once a day. Hmm. So nobody doubles up on pills. What would be great, too, is if there was a timer where if you take a pill at morning and night, it would lock until 12 hours from now. You know, it'd be great, too, for people who are addicted to pain pills. It would help. Ah, they'd probably break the bottle open. (laughs) Never mind. You have to load it up in the first place, right? Like, you have to put your pills from the pill bottle into this thing in the first place. Yes, yes. um, They would still have access to the regular thing. Uh, It's funny, because while you're talking about this, I thought you were going a different direction, where I thought you were going to make it so the pill bottles themselves would, of course, have a child safety thing, but a child safety thing where it just opens and you can just directly, you don't even have to take off the cap. You just into your hand. I thought that's where you're going with this. Uh, Not an automated pill dispenser. Um, But okay. First thing, I guess it would have to be like a programmable thing through like a smart app. And I guess it would also give you your like, notifications through the app on your phone when it's time for the next pill. Um, Yeah. I also see this thing as a big machine. Like I see this like the size of like a blender. Um, Maybe like the size of someone's head from their chin to their tippy top of their head. But the pills all got to fit in there. And some people have a lot of pills. You know what I mean? Uh, So I feel like this thing's like, going to take up a decent amount of space. Maybe. The rationale and reasoning behind it would be that instead of wasting pill bottles and caps, you just bring this into your doctor or your pharmacist and they'll fill it up for you too. I feel like you might have cut out a little bit, but uh, it's still a big thing, right? You're, you're going to carry this huge thing to the pharmacy with you? I don't think it would ever get bigger than a protein bottle, which can get pretty big, like yeah. a five-pound protein I, I bottle. I know what, exactly what you mean. Here's a better idea. How about this? The, the The dispenser part itself is decently small, where all the technology is. Um and then on the, it, it'll have like a little funnel shaped thing on the top, and then like it, like a little user interface, and then the dispenser part, and then the buttons, right? Um, that thing I would say would be the size of like uh, I don't know, like a shoe, like a shoebox that fits inside of a shoebox, like a small box, right? 
<laughs> yes. And then from there on our website, you could buy different sizes and different um, numbers of compartments that you attach to the top. I right? like that. And then that's removable and you could buy different sizes. And then you could bring that with you, yeah, to the pharmacy to directly fill in each of these slots. That way uh -huh. it could be big or small, depending on the number of pills that you need. Um, and yeah, that way you don't have to carry this whole thing. You just have to carry out the part that takes the pills. Now, I would also want there to be warnings given to help you out in the sense that it's like, like I imagine the pills would have a very nice little jingle that happens, almost the same as your water dispenser does. where mm. the, And then after that jingle, like, da -da -ding, remember, you cannot operate heavy machinery and should be taking this with a meal. Thank you. A lot of words. <laughs> <clears throat> should we just put symbols? We'll do a tractor with an X and then like, Put a cheese. <laughs> Why use just, many words? It could all just be a notification on your phone. I'm trying to think of old people. Oh, that's true. That is true. But old people on their phone would have text-to-speech anyway, right? Some old people don't even have a smartphone that's or true. a computer. That's true. And but it would have like to be vocalized biggest... because they wouldn't be able to see symbols because their eyes are deteriorating. Yeah, yeah. But this thing still has, has to be programmable because someone has to tell this machine <laughs> at this time, these, pil these pills from these things need to be dispensed. At this time, these things from this side of the pill dispenser has to be dispensed. Jay, the pill bottle you got me for Christmas <laughs> is holding my prescription hostage. I haven't taken my medication in two days. I just don't know how it works. Yeah. I'm going to need you to fly down. Dad, use FaceTime. I don't know how to use FaceTime. Yeah. But that I, that is the biggest problem I'm running into right now where I guess, yeah, old people is the, the big, big hole here. One button. You pour all your pills in. I feel like we would have to partner up with pharmacies where a pharmacist would have to know how to program this. It has to be easy. It does have to be easy. That doesn't sound easy. No. Um, maybe... Maybe what we would just have to trust, like, whoever's buying this for their parents or whatever um, is the one that also sets it up for them. You know what I mean? So when they buy yeah. this for them, they come to their house, put all the pills in the thing, and then be like, all right, Dad, when, you have to, when it's pill time, you press this button right here. And just they, that button, and that's it. Yeah, just that one button. They're like, okay, two times a day, you got to press that button. It's just that one button. And then from there, there's no problems, right? And let's say it's tamper-proof, too. Let's say um, if you try to press that button at any other time of day, it doesn't react. Um, we're going to have to make the designs, like, obviously, like maybe like a nice, just normalized sphere. That looks normal with a button on it. We can't make this appealing at all to children. Yeah. Because if we up the security, we're going to lock out the elderly. But we have to make it so it's unappetizing to children. Well, I think in this situation, there's still going to be a smartphone app, I think. Yeah. And two ways it could be utilized. One way is more like a parental control, but the opposite, where you're controlling it from your parents and also kids. Uh, where you get a notification that your dad or your mom is constantly trying to get more pills out of this thing, and you got to call them, "Hey, what's <laughs> going on? Why are you why are you trying to get more pills?" Uh, I'm not. No, yeah, you are. You hit it 36 times. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, the other use would be for your own personal use. You know what I mean? And so you could like track it. It'll give you messages, and then on the app, it'll like tell you, "Are you using this for someone else or for yourself?" And you can have different accounts for like your parents' account, your account. Your kid's account, that type of whole thing, and all on one Yeah, there app, you go. You know what I mean? 
How's that? And then and then when you fill these up, you have to put like the prescription sticker in each compartment where those pills go. So the doctor will always fill it up in the same place. So that works. Up. I like where this is at. Um I'm almost wondering if there should be integration with water. So when you press the button, a little plastic cup emerges and then all the pills come out into like a little tiny like Dixie cup. And then another plastic cup emerges and this one gets filled with the appropriate amount of water necessary for swallowing the pills. I don't think so. I think it just come, the pills just come out. You put this right next to wherever you get your water in your home anyway. Uh, the reasoning for that, it just makes it so you need to restock this thing more than just the pills. Like then you'd have to put yeah. the cups in there. You're going to have to refill You're the right. water. You're going to have to put in a, a, a car charcoal filter for the water. You're going to have to do more cleaning even uh -huh. just because there's like water and cups and other stuff that you have to deal with. It's just it's more much, stuff. It would be heavy. Yeah, and it would make it bigger and heavier. Um, I think it would be fine if this was for younger people, but now, you, yeah, you have it in my mind. This is for old people that don't need to deal with all this shit. Just make it dispense their pills. That's all they need from this one machine. And probably the three other machines in their room is also for the same type of stuff. So, And it would grant them independence because you would never worry about them doubling up or taking too many pills or not enough or someone stealing their pills. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, and then there's also, you can get one for kids that dispenses gummy vitamins. Cause I mean, who's maybe double dipped on a gummy vitamin every now and then. But that's not Everyone. like going to harm anyone. You just pee those out. You do, you do, you do. And it makes you wonder how much you really want gummies. Well, Boy, do I need to think of a brand right now. Tylenol? Make this happen. Just the whole painkiller company. How about like... how about, I, Johnson how about and Johnson? Like, oh, yeah, Johnson and Johnson. Maybe like a CVS product, like a, like a Walgreens uh, or Target oh. exclusive product type of thing. Oh. You know who would do really well at this? But, I mean, I don't think they're anywhere but California and major cities. Kaiser Permanente. Hmm make this happen and now that i think about it i know i've, I've ended this show three or four times <laughs> kaiser permanente is a german word and then a spanish word put together maybe it's two people a german and someone whose last name is permanente <laughs> <laughs> thanks for listening if you have any suggestions or products you'd like to see talked about feel free to write out write in at out ah feel free to write in at at pound games at gmail.com. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to join that pound family, come find us at patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Patrons receive episodes two days early, meaning make this happen gets to your ears that much sooner. If you enjoyed our show, take a second to give us a review. We're on Apple podcasts, Spotify, Google play store, and more. Catch you guys next Sunday with Jay's brilliant idea. I know I did one recently in this same universe, but I got another one for you. Persona. Let's find out. I almost want to guess, but I feel like that would ruin it. What's your best guess? Persona excursions. What does that mean? Like you um, book an excursion that's like a persona. Like you, like you go, you spend a little time in school, and then you you like pretend to like go to a job, and then you like you live a day in the life of a Japanese school kid. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I tried to bring it all home and combine all our concepts that we talked about. If you'd like video game content, check out We Are Not Game Devs. <laughs> <laughs> all right i don't know if i I'll want to see keep you guys that next or if Sunday. i want to I just get rid of it because that was a <laughs> weird trip <laughs> uh well you should cut this out